Hi folks, welcome. For a couple of years I had a very huge problem with insomnia. This brings me to sleep almost all day and stay awake all night. This is something so not uncommon for people that are artists or let's say creative people like me because during the night is the best moment where all the ideas, all the projects come to life. So I in that period of my life, I wasn't thinking that this is a very big problem. I just fixed in my mind that I had to work hard in any case, even if I was awake in the night. Fortunately, in that period, I was full of work, was a commission work. So I was free to, to do my work also in the night. And I was also producing a lot of YouTube videos in the night. So it wasn't a big problem. But in a long period of time, I also realized this was very bad. This was the real problem. It was very, very, very bad for my health. I was gaining weight because I wasn't having precise hours where to eat. Everything was a mess. I was like having breakfast at 1 a.m. I was having dinner at 8 a.m. It was a huge mess. So I, I decided three years and a half ago to never fall again in this very bad habit. So I unfortunately, 10 days ago happened again and I start because I had flu so I start to sleep in the night in the day and now all my all my hours are messed up so I just woke up and it's like 6 p.m. so it's a huge mess for me I don't want to fall again in all this huge mess of hours and things I want to be productive healthy so I'm going to build myself something that will keep me safe <laughs> Hi folks, welcome. Let's start, first of all, ordering on eBay all the parts for today's project. I need for sure a big metal container, so let's recycle a very old bird cage, a very big one for sure. I also need an alarm clock, a very interesting one that is connected to a shaker. I will show you later how it works, so let's take it. I need also a very small uh, but very useful Wi-Fi switch. I need also a power supply. And last thing is a big car horn. So these are all the parts and I'm ready to work on this project. So let's open the package that contains the alarm clock. I was telling you this is a special one. It's an alarm clock for deaf people. And if you think about it, it's difficult for them to hear the, the sound from the alarm clock. But this has, is connected directly to a bed shaker. A bed shaker is like a vibration device that shake the pillow so you wake up in the morning without problems. It's the same thing you have inside your smartphone for the vibration, but with bigger dimensions. So let's see how to interface this alarm clock with a car horn. It's very simple. So let's see the car horn. I searched for many days on eBay for a car horn and finally I found one. It comes from a very old vintage car and I'm very impressed about the shape of this horn. I'm pretty sure it will sound very loud. But now let's talk about the alarm clock. I'm interested about two components of this alarm clock, the bed shaker, of course, which I will connect to a relay, and the little button, the snooze button, that will stop the vibration. Using a screwdriver, I can take apart the alarm clock. I'm interested to find where the snooze button goes to in, the, in the circuit board. I can see under it, there's a little button. I can take it away. I want to replace it using a soldering iron with 30 centimeters of copper cable. So I can solder them directly instead of the button. And basically what I'm doing is replacing the button. And you can really understand that every time the two copper cables touch together, it will close the contact and stop the alarm clock. Very easy, okay? Now let's see how to connect this, all this system, to a smart switch. This is a classic smart switch. You can uh, operate via Wi-Fi. 
220 volt goes inside and one the Wi-Fi signal gives okay 220 volt goes out so this is very is a very clever idea to control a relay a relay is like a switch like a simple switch you can push with your finger but it gets activated once you have 220 volts reaching the the coil of the relay so you can see that every time 220 volt gets into the coil it will attract this little metal plate and this will move the contacts of the relay here on the bottom make them uh, pass from one side to another so basically what, what what we can do with this is using the wi-fi switch to control the relay and close the alarm clock so let's see schematically how to connect all the parts so we have the alarm clock the relay the smart wi-fi switch and the 220 volt input so you can see input goes into the wi-fi the cables goes with the alarm clock and every time we give an input to a wi-fi electricity flows to the coil and close the contacts making sure that the alarm clock stop to to make sound so these are the real physical connection i can glue them behind the alarm clock so are much more precise and compact and now let's think about how to connect the car horn to the alarm clock well this is the bed shaker it was connected to the alarm clock with this little plug i can cut away the cable and i can use the power flowing through the cable to activate a little relay it's very similar to the process of before but this time we are just giving electricity to the to the car horn so i solder a green and yellow cable i need a power supply and see let's see schematically everything we have the car horn we have the alarm clock and the power supply in the middle there's the relay and everything is connected to the relay this way we have power flowing to the relay and from the alarm clock we have cables activating the relay it's very simple so this is everything is ready so i'm very curious to, to, to hear how the car horn sounds like i'm pretty sure it will be very loud <laughs> I can take now a metal base where I can mount everything. This was sold just for this purpose, you can see here. And I glue in place the alarm clock, the power supply, and I also bought this, that is a ring light, because I'm planning to mount everything here in the ceiling of the room. So let's make it also like for a light purpose. So I can paint with red the car horn and now i bought this huge bird cage i love the design of it but i love the fact that this has to protect all everything that that is inside because i know myself very well and in the morning i hate so much the alarm clock that i want to throw anything to it so this will protect everything especially now that it is so loud and the idea of mounting everything on a circular base is very very easy now to mount all the parts inside so there's only the last component is the car horn i will place a little spring and connect it here on the roof of the cage now i'm here in my bedroom i can change the, the light that is on the ceiling the original one with the new cage and i can mount it here but first let me also modify the electricity the switch that brings electric electricity 24 7. Danilo, buongiorno, I'm here, I'm having breakfast, and I, I also have here the newspaper of today, so you are sure I'm not lying to you, and you are the only one that can activate the little Wi-Fi, it's very simple, you go on the app of the smart Wi-Fi, activate it, so you disconnect the alarm clock, so thank you very much. And finally, I made it. I realized what I really need for my purpose. I'm having so much problems about keeping 
the right hour. I absolutely need to wake up every morning at 8.30. I don't waste my time. I have to be much more productive. And in this way, I'm, I'm sure I can keep with my work without problems. So I hope you can take inspiration from this little project, even, I'm, even if I'm sure you will not replicate an alarm clock this way, you maybe understand how you can control relays or controlling a smart switch. At this point, I leave you here my two previous projects, so check them out and see you next week with another do-it-yourself tutorial. Ciao, ciao.